Hello everybody, Azumi here, and uh, someone, I am terrible with names, so I apologize for that, kind of requested to see what heroes and gear that I have. So, we'll just do a real quick video to go over that, because that's kind of the easiest way for me to show people what I have, you know? So, we'll go with gear first. Um, we'll just go straight here, and... Start at the top. So this is all the stuff that I have finished so far. I think all of my gear is level 50. Now I do need quite a bit of skill knives once you get down here towards the bottom. A lot of my older gear, like, I just never really bothered to finish it because I don't use it anymore, so... I'll, I'll finish it eventually just so this is all done. I want, you know, everything level 50 and level level 5 skill. Wish I had more of these. But, uh... I really haven't done, like, a lot of gear pulls, is the thing. So, most of the gear that I have... If, if it looks weird like these or something like that, then it probably came from um, a Coliseum or a Collab or something like that. Because I don't really do many gear pulls at all. <clears throat> so now we're starting to get into where I haven't quite finished them yet. They're like, you know, I've leveled it up to 50, but because I don't use that character very much, I don't have any reason to level this up yet, so I haven't. But some of them I need to work on, like this one. It's just, I need skill knives, which for me means doing raid. Doing raid a lot. But, I've tried to finish as much of this gear as I can. And don't underestimate this. I know it's one of the, wor one of the worst ones you can get in the gear pools, but it also is a debuffer. So, on two front enemies. So, it's not the greatest, but don't underestimate it. Look, I don't care what anybody says. I love the Rainbow Choco Stick. I don't use it, but I love it. It looks like Pocky with um, stuff stuck to the chocolate. Like candy, little candies and stuff. I don't know if we're getting these these time around. Because I, I, I would really like a couple more of these. Of these Asuka's Weed Nights. I, I, I really would like a couple more of these. Now I have more of these race flags. They're just in storage. Or I might have got rid of them now by now. Because like I didn't need like 8 race flags. I had a lot of them. Oh and there goes my computer spinning up. Because it's actually doing something now. I'm getting close to the bottom here. I, I love food themed ones, okay? Uh, we need more food themed gear in this game, for real. So, A Team, if you're watching this, and if you want to make, you know, um, just some random YouTuber happy, make more food themed gear. That that would just make 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 my day right there, my year. Uh, I think we're getting close to the bottom because I don't really have any four star gear. Because it four star gear kind of drives me crazy. So I only keep a couple around like these ones is because of the ones I use in arena and then this that really makes me mad because I'll never be able to finish this. I left my N twos on on uh, four star on purpose because I've only got two and I need those for arena and of course I wish I would have got more of these because that's not a bad enemy you know, paralyze the three back enemies and then the stuff that I'm just now working on is the only thing I got that in a pool what like a day ago or something two days ago and I'm just starting to work on these so it's building up so now we'll go to accessories. Oh joy. 
Accessories won't take as long because there aren't as many accessories in this game as there are equipment. But I've got a little bit of stuff. Not like a ton, but I've got enough. These, these Hachune bands were really nice because of this. They're good for certain, like, connect battles and Bifrost. I think these are too many. I don't think I need five of those. I could probably get rid of two of them at least. Here's a, here's a cool item that you might have missed that I don't think many people use anymore. Now, I'm stupid for this. Don't make five stars of these assassin rings. Don't be an idiot like me. Make a bunch of four star ones. Make four four star. And the same thing with the um, beast with the beast killer rings. Um, so I'm probably about to make a couple of people sick here. Um, I am pretty much done with all my field rings. I don't care about the ones for Yotun and Beast. I don't really use Yotun and Beast in many fights. So those are very low priority to me. But uh, yeah, for the most part, most of my field rings are completely done. I don't have to farm those anymore. Thank God. That took like two years of grinding and these were pretty nice if you missed them and didn't get them just because it, it also ups your attack stat by a decent amount you get a constant attack buff plus your fire element resistance up mm -hmm. so it, it, it's pretty good for like Ultima and stuff like that I don't remember where exactly they came from like a lot of this stuff I don't remember where it came from <clears throat> so, so say like these don't, don't be an idiot like me and make two five-star. Four-star stuff gives me OCD, so I made it five-star, but I really should have left it four four-star instead of two five-star. It would have been more effective. And then, obviously, the cutest one in the game item that I don't think you can get any more of. I have not seen them come back since then, or I would have made more than one. Um, I make a couple of these on purpose. Anything with constant damage up I usually try to make at least a couple of them because you never know like for Bifrost and things like that and I definitely need to farm um, EX Nidhogg for more of these so like and um, the only this, this was the first piece of like I guess paid gear or you can call it from a gear summons that I got by accident and it used to be really, really OP if you threw a Therian up front on your on your um, arena team. Then the other person's uh, uh, back two would immediately be petrified. And it was funny. And then the drop near, which was the second one that I got. Which is it's pretty good because of the damage up to humans. But it it's in some summons. So you see, I kept one of these because I'm an, I, I was kind of stupid and fused three of them together when I first started like an idiot. And then this is what I'm working on. Um, I'm going to make one of these and then that's probably going to be it. I'm probably going to make three of these and like three of these. So five star. So that's going to be it for my equipment. Let's go over to heroes. Now, this one's going to take a while, and this is it, I, I've got them set in order that I got the heroes in. So, starting from here, this is the order that I got the heroes in. This would be the first one going this way, would be going towards the last one. So, you know, of course, at the beginning of the game, when I first started, there really wasn't a whole lot, a lot out. I started during Fate Collab, but this isn't that account. I lost my fate account because I lost the information, the login information, but then Usagi found it for me after I had already grinded this account for like a year and a half. So I have my old fate account, I just don't play it anymore. Because it's too far outdated and I don't feel like awakening all these characters and doing all that work again. So... 
some notable ones, you know, easy ones that you get early on are Nautica, and yeah, I always try to max awaken everybody that I can, just, it, it's just, if you use the character quite a bit, you're better off just going ahead and max awakening them. Now, like, <clears throat> take Luca, for instance, I have no, or Wolfgang, I don't use Wolfgang for anything. I never have used Wolfgang for anything. So, I don't see any reason to sink a bunch of awakening materials into him when I need them for other people. Another notable one to get early on and max awaken would be Loki. Due to the beast killer passive. And you see I still gotta work on the EX ones. I'm not done with those yet. Um, Merka is really good early on because of the CC resist I've got her on in her Halloween costume. This really makes me mad. Because I need 11 souls to 5 star Nico Nico. And Nico Nico will probably never come back. We had that collab probably, what, two or three times, I think. I think it was two. But I wasn't, like going hardcore on this game as much as I do now, so I didn't bother to get all the souls. I was like, oh, I'll get them later. Well, later never came, so. And here's what I was talking about, like, Luca. I'll probably never get her much awakened because I don't use Luca for anything, so. She used to be really good when the game first started, like, she really was meta in Arena, but now it's just, she's not. That's, that's all I'm going to say. She's not. And here's another mistake I made. Because I totally forgot that you needed these freaking things, these special runes, to finish these. And then my dumb self goes and says, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm done with all the Miku characters. I awakened them all because I had finished this Miku over here regular Miku. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm done. So I sold all the runes that I had to do mana, to do super mana pulls, not leaving myself enough to finish her up. But it's no big deal because I don't use Hachune for anything, so I don't really use regular Miku for anything anymore. She used to be pretty good, but again, a lot of what happens in, in games like these, especially gacha games, is, is people just get power creeped out. It's the name of the game. Alright, so here's about the time, here's when King of Fighters came out, because obviously you can see those are the only two King of Fighters characters that I've got, were the two free ones. He was the Connect Battle one, and I think you got Kyo, I'm not sure if Kyo was free, or if he was in pulls, I'm not sure, but those are the only two that I got. So, moving along, um... There's my Halloween Niji. And of course my Beach Blues Brunhild, which is Brunhild's one of my favorite characters. Just, you know, I love the smug facial expressions. And right here is about the time Street Fighter came out because Ryu is free. Uh... And then Chun-Li was the one that I got in the pools. I only did one set of guarantee. I, I said I wanted Chun-Li before I did the pool. I think there's actually a video of it up from a long time ago. And I got Chun-Li and I was like, I'm done. I got, and I got Chihaya when she was released. And we got Chocolatey Noah. I got, she was a three-step guarantee, so... They don't do those anymore, but back in the day, we used to have three-step guarantees where you were guaranteed to get the new hero, no matter what, if you did the three steps. So, they don't do that anymore, but... And look, look, look. You've seen how far back Mirka was, right? I couldn't awake Mirka for so long because I couldn't get Keeley. It took me all the way up to here just to get Keeley to be able to, to awaken Mirka. I was so mad. And we're moving into um, the first Ava collab. 
because I didn't do too bad on there. I got one, two, three, four, five characters. And which also started my Mari curse because now I get every single Mari that comes to this game multiple times. So in between Ava and looks like Madoka, I really didn't get anything much. But during Madoka, I got one, two, three characters. I don't think this order is 100% right. No, it is, because I probably didn't unlock him until after the collab, because I probably just got enough souls and then quit. Alright, so yeah, yeah, I think, I, I'm not sure. And there's Yord who was just awakened, and here's when I got Senia. I think I got her the day she was released again. So, of course, I was happy about that because she's amazing. Now, Envy. Envy was kind of funny for me because I did pulls for Envy. I did not get Envy in, in the pool. I got, um, I bought the 10% box out of the trader. And I got Envy out of the 10% the box. And I sent pictures, a picture of it to a friend of mine, and I got threatened. And it was the most hilarious thing in the world. Being threatened by a girl that they were going to do th mean things to you because you pulled a good character. It was hilarious. So, this is... Um, Vocaloid 2, so Mechafist Rin, one of the best free characters in the game, her and um, regular Asuka, regular Rin, which I got during during the second Vocaloid collab, and then one of my most useful characters, which I was kind of mad at the time that I got, because I really wanted Miku Boda more, but it turned out to me that Light Conjurer Luca, I mean, Night Conjurer Luca ended up being way more useful in the long run. For me, anyway. So, yep. Then I got Larone. Then I started being able to consistently do, you know, like Walpurgis and Ultima. I don't remember. No, she's not Max Awakened, but I'm pretty sure Walpurgis is done, yeah. So I'm still working on Ultima. And then we got Seven Deadly Sins. Which, my Elizabeth appears to be missing. She's probably back there and I just didn't think about it. Oh no, there she is. Oh, that's right, because I did a bunch of pulls and then I had to wait. Because I ended up... Um, a friend, a friend of, a, an ex-friend of Usagi and I's was here when we did this video, and she thought I was crazy for spending a bunch of money to get Elizabeth. But I was like, I, I did. We would do the video, and then I would just like I wouldn't stop the video. I would just pause it at the end, and I'm being like, Usagi, I need more money. And this girl's just sitting over there just like looking at me like I'm crazy. I, I, I could see it out the corner of my eye. It was hilarious. But I got her. But I probably spent like $160. And yep. Keep going. Another Scion which I got in a with a I think I got him out of a ticket because I don't get any Scions or any Alters off of pools except for Sandgrid. I got Sandgrid off a of pool twice, and that's the only one I've ever got. Only one of those two sets that I've ever gotten. So now we're getting back up into the next Ava collab, which I don't know. I don't wonder if you're going to be able to get souls for these this time. I didn't even look. And then there's Sandgrid, because I got San I got Sandgrid the day Altars came out, my very first pull. I did one pull on the on the altar panel the very first time, and the same person that threatened me about Envy also 
threaten me about Sangren. So, yeah. <clears throat> As you can tell, I kind of love that thing. <clears throat> I'm kind of into the Sundere stereotype just a little bit. So we got my Max Awakened Ragnarok. I'm working on him. I think I, I have all the stuff. I have all the runes and stuff I need to finish them. It's just these freaking teardrops that I need. The, these things. I have plenty of... Well, I thought I did. I guess I gotta do that more for those runes, but... The ones that I really need, which are these ones, I have all. I have all the big ones. I have the 18. I need 17. So yeah, I just got to run them a little bit more. Freaking five star Obero. I don't know if I. I know word got around, but if you haven't noticed that Obero has a hero quest now, to go ahead and do it and five star her up, even though she. <clears throat> Her true pur purpose, which was to give bonuses and score attacks, doesn't work anymore, so. And now it looks like we got Attack on Titan, which all I got was the free one, the free one, and Krista like three times. Because, no, game's not going to give me, like, Mikasa or Levi, the two that I really wanted. Hmm. And then here's where my luck started to kind of pick up recently. So, you know, I beat Skirnir and then I got Raspy, Izuna, Nori, Eve Raspy, Blodu, um, Darkstar, Hellblindy. It all started right after last Halloween. So that would be last, right after Halloween 2019, my luck started to and this game started to pick up. And then I got Rhoda, which was made me extremely happy. Then Forsetti. She was off video summon. Then I got Broggy when she came out. Funa. Um, of course, um, one of my main waifus. Silver Valkyrie Brunhild, and then I got Izanami, which is, I, I was really happy about that, because I was like, there's no way I'm getting either one of these two um, Iza characters. And let alone the one, the girl one, the one that I really want. And then I got Sloth, again, from, um, what was it, the Chinese, the Chinese New Year's um, free pulls? Yeah, that's who I got. And then I got yeah, Gaia, and then... I'm not, I'm not saying that. I am not saying that. Luchi, and then we had Seven Deadly Sins, which I, I, I think I did pretty decent in that by just getting Urza. I tried for the luckies. I didn't get them. Then I started getting pretty... You know, like, I got Shining Moon Kaguya, Ron... I guess that's how you say that. Um, got We got Verdandi for free. Everybody did if you was there during the login time. And the same thing with Materia. And then Infected Sif, which I really needed. Which now, now I can do um, more EX battles. And, Ro, and, and Rajo for more EX battles. Which, which allowed me to unlock Star Empress Hell. Which, Jesus Christ, look at this. And, you know, and then now we're back to the newer stuff. So, Albaldi finished. Uh, I'm not really worried about orbiting him because I don't really have a use for him right now. Cannon Mama. Um, Roveria, which I was missing for a long time. I bought the ticket that she was in. And I didn't have Kawaru from the original collab, so I ended up getting him for free off of our one daily summon. I was pretty happy about that. 
um, Shinji and Fenrir, which is actually not a bad character. Um, Void Angel, Bolthor, another one I'll probably never use. Quaru and Hydroon. Um, Mari and Fafnir. Um, of course, Spear Knight, Garrod. I, I don't know how to say that. that Garrod. We're going to call him Garrod. So, which can really help me do some EX Nidhogg. And then the last character that I've gotten was Mari and Ava Unit 8. So, that is the latest, greatest character that I have. Maybe Usagi and I are, will try the Lucky Summons tonight. Um, this one right here for New Misato Envy. But well, let, let's see what the appearance rate. What's in here? So yeah, it's it, it's worth it for me to do it because then I might have a chance to get some of these. So I definitely need Newt and Guan Mei. And Kubero would be nice. Uh, Granfelt, Mikagura. So there's a few in there that I would like to get. We'll go ahead and do my free summons because I'm here. But I have all these characters, so it's it's gonna I'm not gonna get anything. And then we'll close out the video. So, oh, I didn't show you. Oh, junk. Something to sell for more blacksmith tokens. So we'll look at my, um, I didn't show you my other storage boxes. So I've got, I bought two extra storage boxes. This one right here is kind of, that says collection is kind of a mixed bag. It has some stuff that needs to be in the one that says need reforged. But for the most part, it's just items that I never intend on using again because their power creeped out or I just don't have any use for them anymore. Or I don't have that character. So, like, this is in here because I don't have her. What's the point in keeping it in my main, main equipment spot? Like, I have too many of these. If I need more, I'll take them out. Um, of course, I've got a dead fish in there. And, like... You know, SP versions, if I have the X, then I'll just ditch the XP. That if, if, if I'm not going to use both SP and X, then I'm just going to ditch one in here. And just stuff that I, I haven't felt a need to finish or I don't have enough to 5-star it yet. Like, some of these swords like this, I should probably just go ahead and make a 3 <coughs> Oh, sorry about that. Go ahead and make a 4-star, but I don't like having 4-star equipment. It drives me crazy. And then some of the OG stuff that you can't get anymore. Like before characters had fields, we had these rings here that gave that character the field. So in order for like Manny to resist gravity, which she has naturally now as a passive, you had to equip this ring. So like, okay, what did Faye have? Faye has mist. So they gave her the mist passive and then made this ring obsolete. But I kept all the ones that I have, so obviously because you can't get those anymore. You know, here's the one for Bear, or Michelle. This is the one, I think, for Loki. This is the one for Bear. Um, that would be Thrud. This would be Luca. Sasha. What's this one? Scald, okay. Because I didn't get them all because you had to, I think you had to five star the character or something to be able to get them. And then a couple more things that I just never finished like this. I only got one of those because I might have not been playing the game as much at the time. And the same with the, this. Which is actually not a bad weapon. I w uh, uh, accessory. I wish I would have got at least one five star of those. But Okay, now we'll look in the Need Reforges. So, yeah, I, I'm hoarding a couple of these. I know a lot of people got a lot more of those than I do. And then, honestly, this... This... Should be in my... In my, uh... I, I should be using those as four-star. 
but I'm not because I'm lazy. I'm holding on to a couple of reforged knives just in case I get something that I really need to reforge like now. But this is just the stuff that I that when I get enough that I'm gonna make that I'm gonna finish them. So these need to go. I need I really need more nature hatchets, but I doubt we're ever gonna get those again. And these I'm just saving up till I get a till I farm. Um, what's her face some more? Ah, ten the the, the Tengu lady. And same thing with these. These aren't actually bad because of the debuff. So if you ever need a debuff equipment for ranged females, obviously, you just go farm marmalade and get a bunch of mermaid bikinis. So yeah, that's really about it. I think that's all the heroes and all the gear that I currently have. So, yeah, yeah, I can't think of any more, so that's going to be it. This video is already a half hour long, so I will see you later, and goodbye, have a good day, and all that good jazz.